Hola, my name is Miriam. I was born in California, but shortly after brought to Tijuana. Growing up, I have access to the juxtaposition of Tijuana and San Diego. It was always fun, was the thing to do, work in the States and have fun on the weekend, in Tijuana or vice versa. My parents worked very hard to provide my siblings and me with opportunities. During 18 years, we spent a lot of time together while commuting. Even my grandma came along Saturday after Saturday. My grandma is the coolest. Our family bond can be destroyed. It doesn't matter what part of the world we are, we stay connected. We are a team. The current was calm. Then it felt like a tsunami hit the region. 9-11 happened. At the time, I was attending college for the first time in the US. It was different and the border felt like a massive wall. All of a sudden, my family and I were separated. Distance started to become a factor. Geographically, we were 15 miles ap apart from each other. The commute increased from one hour to five hours in a good day. I hang in there, but I felt very distracted. I needed to grow and start my journey. The transition was not as smooth as I wanted to be. I was physically attending to a four-year institution in North Dakota, but mentally I was not there. By the second semester, I decided to step out of my comfort zone and to do my best. And then things began to flow. Now, it is 2008 and I started grad school, met my husband and began running. Looking in ret retrospective, the combination of the three made me feel very motivated. Life was unfolding in an awesome way. It was a year of a lot of learning experiences, but at the same time, a year where my sense of pride and responsibility grew exponentially. Tijuana was hurting, lots of violence, and most people were aware of it. Unofficially, I became Tijuana's ambassador in the Midwest. I wanted to represent the good people of Tijuana with my accomplishments in school and sports. For my husband and I, Tijuana became a very special bond that we cherish. It is remarkable to witness other young transborder commuters contributing with their intellectual or talents to reshape the image of the region. By no means my story is done, I just feel fortunate to be in a good place. There's no chaos. I share my days with my husband, Jeremy, and our dog, Suki, taking care of our little family. Professionally, I finally feel ready and in a position to contribute at a higher level. I'm confident that my knowledge and experiences that constitute who I am have equipped me to make a difference in the academic life of future generations. At the end, we are all unique.